All right, welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming. I promised myself I wouldn't start my uh, intro off that way, but uh, apparently I did. So I guess we're just going to roll with it. Let me know down in the comments after you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down because I am an equal opportunity uh, YouTuber. Uh, I don't mind if you don't like my videos. So, uh, but let me know in the comments whether or not you think it's uh, something I should change. Maybe come up with a different intro every time, something along that, or on intros like bumping into gates, just not worth it. Uh, or if you think it's fine, let me know. Throw it in the comments. And uh, while you're there, if you want to mention anything else, uh, feel free, go right ahead. But uh, today we are doing our dirty deeds. <coughs> and they're done dirt cheap. Yes, they are. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. I even uh, even did that in the, uh, the chapters when I was typing it out. <laughs> I thought I was pretty funny. What can I say? But anyways, let's get moving. Let's get uh, to the center of the map because unfortunately... We're going to have to split this run up and uh, basically work our way towards the center of the map and then we're going to have to split off to go deliver two of them and then come back pretty much back to the center of the map and then go off in a, in a triad direction, I guess, and uh, basically turn 60 degrees and then head to the edge of the map to drop off the last load at the farm. So. Uh, but the factory and the village are right next to each other, so this should be this should be pretty decent of a mission. Um, it's our first large mission in the in in Russia. <clears throat> I almost I almost called it Alaska again. Like uh, we're, we haven't been in Alaska for a while now, so but it's still on my brain. I still want to call everything Alaska. So, but uh, let's see here. We gotta get to the uh, the fuel tanker. And I'm, uh, you know what? I think I'll be fine. This this truck just sips gas. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass the gas and then probably pick some of it up on the way back. Because as you can see, yeah, we're we're, yeah, we've got some a, a way to travel to to basically go all the way to the factory and then come back. And then I think I will take this side road here uh, to the farm and drop off our less barrel of oil or crate of oil. I guess it's a crate of oil. I mean, really, it looks like four pallets of oil. Um, yeah, you get four pallets or you get four drums on each pallet. <laughs> and then we each load has four crates. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go with that. Anyways, <laughs> not really overly important. I'm, uh, I'm picking, picking apart the game a little too much there. <laughs> uh, not everything has to be so technical, but yeah, who knows? <clears throat> All right. So yeah, we've, uh, I've been I've been trying to figure out this whole YouTube algorithm and after reading some comments and and doing some YouTube searches on how to grow a channel and all this it kind of just seems redundant uh, you know it's one of those things it will happen if it happens kind of thing um, there's not one thing you can do like I even went through a video uh, that was like 20 different settings and well some of the information was good don't get me wrong it, it pretty much didn't really affect anything because I did go through and I did do most of the uh, changes that they were looking to do um, and one of them was which I didn't do but one of them was not promoting to the users you already have because if your video is slightly different then the users you already have don't want to watch it and I just I thought to myself I was like well that seems kind of strange uh, because why not promote to them 
because you're going to promote to everyone else too. So uh, I ended up not switching that. And plus, all my videos are SnowRunners, so they're all related, right? But I do want to try, and I am thinking about doing this uh, relatively soon. Uh, besides streaming, I am working on that. I just haven't had a lot of time to make videos, so when I when I do get time, I I just make videos. And um, looking into something new is just gonna take way too much time. Although uh, I have glanced at it, and it doesn't seem too bad. But um, I also have to come up with some type of schedule. So I think that's probably gonna be the harder part. So if I do start streaming, it will be. It will just be random streams. I'll try to figure um, out about a week in advance, and then I'll I'll put a post saying that I'll be streaming uh, during so and so time on on what day. And you know what? If you guys can make it, be great. But I'm I'm being optimistic, and I'm I'm gonna guess nobody's going to be on at the same time that I'm gonna be streaming. So, uh, which is fine. As long as I can still, I have to figure out if I can still upload it as a video, uh, so that you know everyone else can still watch it. Because I I do watch a lot of YouTubers, and a lot of YouTubers will have uh, will have their you know like a, a series of uh, on a game or something, and then all of a sudden they'll do a live stream over the weekend, and then I can't find that live stream, so I'm like. I can't even follow along now because you've advanced in the game, if it's a game. Uh, but you've advanced, and now I'm left in the dark because I didn't get catch your uh, live streaming. So I do want, if I do do streaming, I will try to, anyways. I don't even know if it's possible without getting a, like a video capture card or a video capture card, and um, I'm sure I can still record it through OBS. Uh, but I'll, I, I gotta do a lot of testing still, so it's, it's, it's gonna be a ways out. Um, but yeah, so anyways. <laughs> uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about, and I completely forgot what it was, so... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna let that one go. Uh, what was it? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and think about it for a second. <laughs> I'm sure it will come back to me. Alright, you know what? I might as well ask this question now. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably just stop here. Uh, but we are... We are basically done with the task that I've found. Uh, we do have this spot here that's empty. Or that hasn't been explored. And I think this spot here... Uh, hasn't been explored either, so... There's a possibility that there may be a task in... Hidden in the, uh hidden in here somewhere like yeah see there is a vehicle stuck here honestly it looks like a Hummer uh, and then over here don't know I don't see anything there's a bridge yeah I don't really see anything so there might not be a task there but uh, anyways my question to you guys and please throw this in the comments is to or even if you want uh, answer it in discord because I have my Discord set up and nobody really uses it, so it's a little sad when you open up your Discord page and it hasn't been touched in uh, two weeks, so. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably figure out how I'm supposed to update it and refresh it and all that fun stuff once people start using it, but I don't know, you know, stop in there, say hi, share your photos of. Uh, if you're playing SnowRunner, let me know where you are. If you have questions, you know, it's a community. The, you know, uh, we'll try to answer your questions. And uh, anyway, so my, my question to you guys is, before I start rambling on, is we're pretty much done with the task in this area. Um, I do have these that I can do, which we are doing one now. But I'm debating, I honestly can't even remember what I did for the other mats. Um, but I'm debating about saying, leave these, let's go unlock the other maps, let's do all the tasks and find all the little fun things to find, especially the upgrades and, and possibly new trucks. 
Uh, speaking of trucks, that ah, that looks like a bridge. It's weird. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but anyways, I'm th I'm thinking, or what I'm leaning towards is to just. Go and lock, lock the other maps, get the upgrades and the trucks and the uh, and the watchtowers, and then we will come back and knock out all the contracts. Um, I believe that's kind of how I ended up doing it in Alaska. Uh, so I think it works. It works pretty well. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. But let me know in the comments for sure what you guys want to see happen, because I will be happy to do it uh, that way. And yeah, I just realized. Uh, one, I was wasting time talking, uh, the map was still running, and uh, worst of all, the truck was still running, so luckily it doesn't use very much gas. <laughs> Some of the trucks actually uh, idle at like one, one and a half, so that you can you, you can lose a lot of gas in, in a couple minutes, so. But I think this truck is like point, yeah, point six. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll at least have enough gas to get back to the fuel tanker. But I, I have a strange feeling that we're, we have right now, 35 minutes of, of gas right now. So I don't think we're going to run out anytime soon, but, uh, this morning here is awfully dark. 6 AM is not very bright in Russia, uh, which. I guess supposedly kind of makes sense. It's up uh, depending on where we are. I don't think we're in a uh, a real place or a real town, uh, but we are. Russia's pretty far north, so. Uh, but then again, Russia's pretty big, so I wouldn't be surprised if there are some lower places in Russia. But uh, it's been a while since I've actually looked at. Uh, a globe to see whereabouts say this the the lowest part of Russia is right because uh, obviously it's above China and Mongolia but I'm pretty sure if you go west it's it comes down south a little bit more so um, who knows I mean unless you're looking at a map or a globe scholar I'm not sure why I went this way uh, that was a case of staring at a point and going for it so hopefully we can squeeze through here with uh, very little issue <laughs> uh, totally just went a oddball way so but hey you know what it worked all right we got uh, we got one load done Let's see if we can squeeze through here and can I still make that oh, oh just stopped in time like I I had to hit the brakes about halfway past the road. So that's how long it took for this truck to stop. Uh, where else do I need to go? You know what? We should probably console the map. Uh, yeah, because we are kind of pointing in the wrong direction here. Let's just uh, let's see how good I am at backing up. It's going to be a slow grind, but. I think what I'm going to do, let's put the trailer in that direction. And yeah, take out a couple trees while you're at it. That's always good. Nope, that, that honestly didn't do any better. Alright, can we, can we do it? I don't think we can. Not without... Turn! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Alright. Well... That was a pretty tight turn, but not the best skills uh, in SnowRunner, so... But that's okay, you guys didn't... You, didn't, you guys didn't come here, did you, for SnowRunner skills? Like, what? Who... who why would anyone want those? Like, you guys want to see mistakes, right? Like, that's what makes it fun. You want to see me screw up, and then you want to laugh at me, and then you'll listen to me laugh at me, which makes it even funnier, so that's that's really what you guys came for, right? I know you did, which is great. You know what? I love it. 
So, uh, let's, yeah, we'll just uh, continue up this hill. Oh, high gear is a little struggling a little bit here. Oh, I, re I remember what I was going to talk about. Ah, uh, just dawned on me. It took me a while. But uh, I'm really getting an itch to try Mudrunner. Uh, which I've been told. I've only seen one person do like a brief intro on it. But they had mentioned that uh, Mudrunner is more multiplayer coordinated. Coordinated? Is that the right word? Yeah. And so I'm kind of thinking if I start doing live streams of picking up that game. Well, actually, I, I technically have that game because I think uh, Mud Runner American Wilds was it was on sale one day on Steam for like five bucks. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I still haven't downloaded it. I haven't installed it at all. Uh, but I do have it. And that might be something that uh, I can do a little spin-off of. And maybe do maybe do on a weekend. Uh, it probably, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna have to wait till till at least fall slash winter when I'm not so busy. Uh, but I do want to, I definitely want to get that, um, a try. That's mentioned, I believe it's what? That's got to be close to a 10 year old game now. It's, uh, oh, you know what? I got to remember where I'm going. I got to go back the way we came. I don't like that trail at all. So yeah, we're going to go to this point here. We're going to take that little road up. So. We will be able to swing by and get gas. And I'm already confused at which way I need to go. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I definitely want to try Snow Runner or Mud Runner. And if anyone has Mud Runner that would like to do that and is probably have time, I might, I might, you know, have one person or two people or a group of people that always play. Or I might just say, hey, whoever wants to join can join, you know, and we'll we'll do it that way. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of my plans for this channel in the future. Um, hopefully your plans are to either join or at least watch. And uh, don't forget to comment because I pretty much re respond to all the comments. Unless it comes from a WhatsApp account. Uh, but I did find, actually, that was one of the things that, um, that I saw in the video about how to improve your channel, is that there is a, and I forgot how to do it, that's the worst part, uh, but there's under, I, I think it's under your channel settings, maybe along the advanced options, uh, there's keywords that you can actually block, so if somebody says, um, you know, somebody drops the F-bomb or swears a lot, you can actually just block those words and then it will block the comment. So I might try throwing in WhatsApp uh, because when I was when I was newer, it hasn't happened lately. Uh, but when I was newer, I was actually getting a lot of WhatsApp uh, remarks and, and comments and stuff like that. And they weren't they weren't like, oh, I'm going to try to spam you or, or I'm not I'm trying to scam you. Uh, cause it wasn't like, hey, you won a hundred dollars, please click this link to accept or whatever. But it was just those, it was kind of those words of positive, uh, reinsurance. And I'm like, seems a little strange. Um, and you know, I never got the same WhatsApp account, uh, putting them in there, but I haven't seen them lately. So maybe, maybe YouTube actually did something. To put an end to those uh, those little scams, uh, but I know the bigger YouTubers they get they get the scams all the time because they they do things like have CD keys to give away to you know the first thirty commenters or whatever. 
Um, and so they'll, they'll, the what, what app errs, I guess is the best way to say it. They'll try to, uh, get in on the action and, you know, reply to people who are, who have left comments and basically try to tell them that they've won some contest and they gotta click this link and fill this out and give them the banking information. And the next thing you know, they get their, uh, they get their stuff stolen, so. Is that... Okay, that's just the logging station. I gotta go left and around, okay. I mean, I could go straight through, but... Ah, you know what, we'll stick to the, uh, we'll stick to the road. But yeah, so anyways, uh... What a beautiful day out. It's... It's sunny, it's bright, there's not a cloud in the sky... The temperature's perfect... Uh, yeah, no, no. It's, it's raining, it's foggy, it's obviously cloudy because you kind of get clouds when it's raining out. Although, sometimes, sometimes it can rain with, with very little clouds in the sky. <laughs> uh, you usually get a rainbow then, but I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, you probably already know it. Anyways, uh, I'm slowly finding out that this is a long, uh, trek across the map. And I'm slowly starting to run out of things to talk about, so... Yeah, it's, uh... You'll just have to bear with me, I guess, because... Ooh. What? Did I come through this way? Uh-oh. Alright, we'll just winch ourselves out of this, whatever this ditch is. I feel I went through that way, so to get hung up like that is kind of strange. Yeah, maybe I didn't. Maybe I... Nope, oh, totally went this way. Well, whatever. Luckily, the uh, the trees are there, so we could uh, winch to them and get out, so... Yeah, let me know in the comments too if anyone has recently played uh, Expeditions and if they've had an update or something to make it more uh, enjoyable to play because I mean, last time I checked it did not have very good numbers. There was less than I think 400 people playing it and the numbers just dwindled from launch. Like, I remember everyone was so excited for expeditions to come out. And the sad part was, is when I first saw it, I, I thought it was, I didn't realize it was an, like, I thought it was an, uh, an add-on or an update, right? And then I was watching it more and I was like, oh, this is, this is a whole, you know, separate game. So then I slowly started getting more excited about it. You know, and I, I saw the videos and I saw the, the stuff and that kind of made me less excited about it, but I still bought it, still tried it out, and yeah, I, I don't know what it was, it just doesn't catch you like SnowRunner does. Or MudRunner for that issue. Um, and the funny thing, the funny thing about MudRunner, oops is that uh, Mud Runner is basically, as far as I can tell, is just logging, and I absolutely hate logging. Um, I shouldn't really say that. For some reason, I'm still traumatized by logging early in Michigan and in Alaska. Alaska wasn't too bad, because uh, we had gotten more powerful, more capable trucks. But trying to log in Michigan, you you almost want to go get better trucks and then go back to Michigan to do the logging because I don't know if I was just trying to, to haul too much load or what, but I just remember it was it was a nightmare. Speaking of nightmare, but there's definitely something over there in the rocks. Um, which way? I guess, I guess, yeah, that would be the truck there. Alright, so that's, that's definitely a mission, so maybe, 
maybe we can bust our scout out and see what we have to do over there. Yeah, because there's the truck there, there's the square, so... And here's my horrible turning radius. That's one thing I miss about the, uh, the dairy. Is its rear steering. And its ability to just... In SnowRunner terms, turn on a dime. <laughs> Speaking of turning, I was so... Like, when I first started playing this game... I had bought it, I had installed it on my laptop. Am I going? Am I? Oh, I guess you go around the rock. Uh, but I bought and installed it and on my laptop and I was literally playing with keyboard and mouse. And it was a nightmare. I did not understand the steering at all. And I almost quit the game altogether. I I literally almost gave up on this game because of the steering. Uh, because I was playing with the keyboard and luckily I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try throwing a controller on it. And at the time, I didn't even know most uh, controllers were compatible with computers. <laughs> and sure enough, it's uh. It renewed my faith in the game because uh, the, really the controllers are uh, ideal for this game if not a steering wheel uh, but I you know I say that now but there's a good chance that I can um, I could probably play with the keyboard and steer the truck and because I understand how the steering works it's not like a racing game and it's not like you know, need for speed or anything like that. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. I just got myself in a pickle. Now, why would I not go around this? Okay, let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay. Had to think about that for a second. Get the wheels to turn the right direction so that the truck won't roll over. All right, yeah, we're gonna go around this uh, little issue. And then we're gonna go up here and then cut hard. Yep. And level up the truck. Oh, wow, I'm struggling a little bit here. I'm glad I didn't go this way with a full load of, uh, a full load of oil. I don't know if the truck would have been able to handle it. Oh. Wow, this is like straight down steepness right there. Into a giant uneven mud puddle. What? Look at that. I like watching the suspension work. And the U joints and all that fun stuff. All right, I gotta pay attention where I'm going. Uh, tell me I'm on the right way. I am on the. Oops. Let's uh clear that marker. Oh, it didn't clear. What the heck? There we go. All right, I think yeah, we should uh we should have about uh 30 minutes in, so we're about halfway through this episode. But I think we're definitely going to have enough time to go get that truck. Uh, which means next episode we'll probably be getting into the quarry. And exploring that realm of goodness. Alright, so the farm should just be up ahead on the right. There's... Couple old abandoned buildings or houses on the left, and yeah, that's about all you can see because it's still raining in Russia with love. <laughs> there's a couple old, uh, there's a couple old movies about rain, right? Besides singing in the rain, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. There's another one. There's another one and I can't think of it. 
It's gonna bug me. Oh well, you know what? It's fine. We are almost to the farm. Which, apparently that's what that says, is farm. So yes, developers, if you're listening to me, make it so that it says it's in Russian, or it's the sign stays in Russian for like five to ten seconds after I see it, or it first appears on screen, and then have it fade over to English so that we can read it. Um, yeah, I don't want to load cargo. Whoops, just realized, and I'm, I'm sure you guys probably noticed that too. I was in the loading area, not the drop-off. So now we gotta figure out how to get uh, just over there. And there's some pretty mean ruts through here. Uh, somebody tell me what these are. I mean, those are definitely hay bales, and those look like hay bales. Is that what those are? They kind of look like beehives to me. Um, although I've never seen them like that before, so... But then again, I've also never been to Russia. And probably won't be going anytime soon because of, well, frankly, what's going on over there, so... Um, that's the last place I'm gonna go visit. Uh... But anyways... Did we make it? Did we do it? Boom! $5,700. I don't even know why I'm telling you dollar amounts because we have half a million dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we really don't need money at this point. Uh, but you know what? I'm greedy. I want to become a millionaire. So, uh, we got 560 reward or, uh, uh, experience points for that. So that's pretty good. That's actually pretty, that's, that's one of the best missions I think I found besides, uh, one of those 20 item missions or uh tra or uh, uh what are those called oh my god con contracts thank you all right uh let's shut off the engine let's head the dairies there the azoths there let's head back into the garage let's uh there it is Let's leave the garage. Let's go see what we can find. Let's go see if we can get this truck out. It should be relatively easy. Uh, but I say that, I don't really know what's required. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of a, a downside. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, haul this back to a certain spot, fix it up, or do repair points, or if it's just uh, hey, look, we found a truck, you can have it, kind of thing. So, although I don't, I don't, I don't think they do that anymore. I haven't come across one of those in a very long time. But my guess is, is we definitely gotta probably haul it out somewhere and drop it off. So, hopefully, this little thing will uh, do the trick. And this is the vehicle that has the uh, freeway transmission in it. And basically anytime you get in the mud you just slam it into high gear and apparently you just sail through everything. So um, it's a little unrealistic but then again we're not really playing this game uh, for realism, so... Although, are we? I don't want to say that. I don't want to say we're not playing it for realism. Uh... Yeah, we're just, we're playing it, right? Uh, but yeah. So, once we get up to the tanker up here... There we go, now we're moving. Let's go around... Nope. Just completely bogged down to nothing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, once we get up to the tanker, I'm gonna have to find a nice little path 
to uh, get to where we need to go. So we are just hauling butt through here. Uh, where where is it? It's kind of it's hidden here. I want to say that marker was about there. So now I have the problem. I think I'm going to come this way. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to come this way. We're going to hit there. We're going to hit this. And then we're going to try to work our way around. And see what happens. So. And I realized the whole time I was in all wheel drive. So that uh, kind of sucked for gas. And hopefully I don't uh, end up with like where I need three extra gallons of gas. Because <laughs> that's going to be a pain in the butt. Because I could have fueled up, which I didn't. So if you're smart, fuel up whenever you can. Even if you have 27 out of 30 gallons. Even if you have 105 out of 109 gallons. Fill up when you can. You'll, you'll save yourself a lot of heartache. Alright, so we're finally through that little mess. And when it comes to scouts, I prefer to be off on the side of uh, trails and roads. You, you tend to have... Oh, I lied. But you tend to, to get through a lot easier. And unfortunately right now I'm kind of just stuck. Nope. Come on, seriously. Maybe I can't reach it yet, who knows. Nope. I want the tree that's in front of me. There we go. Oh, that was a nightmare. So yeah, if you guys were wondering, if you go into first person view, you can kind of just pick the tree that you want to attach to. It's, um, it's that simple. All right. Oops. Let's stay over to the left. Well, that is, doesn't really look much better, but... Yeah, that's that little area where I got stuck in the, uh, the Azov. I think now what we do is we hang a right. We try to figure out what to do over here. Let's go around. Oh. Go around that little trench. Oh. Yep, it's definitely a Hummer, so I doubt we're going to be able to uh, keep it. I also hope that this isn't very deep through here. <laughs> It doesn't look horrible. I can see the bottom, so we should be okay. Get get a little nervous if you can't see the bottom. <laughs> uh, because that usually is a tall tail sign of you're gonna sink. Usually. Alright, so we've got our last task, I think. Um let's start tracking. Okay, so we do have to deliver this Hummer to that house. So not not too far. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to bring this Hummer the way we came in. I'm going to have to yank it. Let's just yank that tree down. That thing can sit and rot. 
And I get it. I wonder how they, they pick these spots. Because, <laughs> like, honestly, where was this Hummer going? It, it clearly came through that path. I just thought, I'm going to drive completely through this swamp. Ooh. You know what? I grabbed it. I did not grab it by the right side. So let me manually grab it by the hitch. Try to get out of this first. Come on. There we go. Okay, yep. Doesn't really matter to me that the truck gets soaked. This isn't the, uh... Oh, what is that channel called? With the banana. Um... I'm drawing a blank right now, but it's something off-roading. I want to say Seth, but I know that's not right. Matt. Matt's off-road recovery. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, I am not Matt, so I don't care if your vehicle gets completely... What the heck is going on with the sky? <laughs> um, I feel like that shouldn't be doing that. It looks like somebody water colored sky. Anyways, um, let's figure out. Is that the trail that I want to take? Oh, no, I want to go that direction. So we got to go left. Uh, so we actually want to go down that way. So let's just keep going up. We'll go up and around these trees and then we'll get on the right path. That is mind-blowing. I've never noticed the sky like that. Is it me? Can I turn the truck on? It's out of fuel. Okay, what if I put some fuel in it? Um... Yeah, you know what? I will give them... Oh, whoops. I will give them, yeah, let's give them, I like how it was supposed to be six gallons. It's supposed to be 12, not 11. Uh, let's do that. So let's uh, turn on the engine. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, somehow I triggered uh, my Amazon box. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys could hear that. If you couldn't, then um, then all the better, because then now I sound like I'm crazy. But uh, yeah, let's... Do I want to fix it? You know what? I feel bad. I'm going to spin around and grab the Hummer from the front. That only seems like the right thing to do. And it's, it's definitely something Matt would do, right? So, um, hopefully I won't get copyright infringement or something weird like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. I, I technically see it as free advertisement for him. So, uh, if you guys haven't seen his channel, go check it out. It's pretty cool. He, uh, he lives out in, I think Utah or Mexico or I don't, somewhere out West Arizona, maybe I actually don't have a clue where he's uh, located. But he uh, basically has this uh, towing company that will go off-roading for all the people who go off-roading and get stuck because, yes, they get stuck and, yeah, they have to get somebody to get them out. And I don't think there's a whole lot of companies that go out some outside of, you know, city roads. <laughs> but he'll go off into the wilderness and, and basically... Uh, get people unstuck So pretty cool little niche that he has there. Um, I don't know like I said, I don't know if he has a lot of competition uh, But he's got he's I started watching him back when I think he only had the banana which was a Jeep 
Cherokee, like a 1996 or 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, no, it's not even a Grand Cherokee, it's just the regular Cherokee. Uh, so the one that, you know, the Grand Cherokee now is like $100,000, which is just asinine. Uh, but anyway, so he has like a really old, you know, lifted Jeep and he would basically go out and rescue people and he's made a nice little business out of it and he turned to YouTube and, and started filming everything and putting it on YouTube and he's probably making more money from YouTube than he does from his actual business of rescuing people uh, in an off-road situation. So, um, be kind of cool to start a business like that around here, but there's not a whole lot of off-road places. In fact, this, this kind of drives me nuts, but unless I go really far north, and I mean like five or six hours north, um, there's not a whole lot of even ATV trails. Um, and I grew up in Michigan, so I would go up north a couple hours to go ride around for hours in the on the on the state land but here unfortunately they don't they they think that's destroying the beauty of nature and i'm like what's the point like you have these like all these walking trails they're all walking trails now and i'm like nobody walks on these things these things are miles and like miles long nobody's walking that they're in their pretty little cities and walking the, the paved trails there. They're not, you know, puffing it through the woods. We don't really have a lot of beauty around us. Not like, you know, out west where you have uh, mountains and stuff like that. It's just flat woods. Pretty boring. But um, yeah, everything is now just walking trails and, well, there's no fun in that. Like, I want to take a dirt bike out. I want to take an ATV out. I want to go have some fun. You know, and I, I'm one of those people where I'm like, don't really go off the trails when I'm on an ATV because, yeah, that can, can be considered destroying nature, especially if you just take an area and destroy it. Um, but as long as everyone stays on the trails, I don't see what the problem is. Like, nature doesn't need this, you know, little trail you're not endangering any weird you know beetle or anything like that so anyways i'm gonna start stop ranting because uh i feel like i've gone on long enough but needless to say uh we are almost to the farm and we are down to about 12 minutes left so and we're running out of daylight, so it's kind of all coming ahead. And hopefully, without any problems. Eh, come on, little Hummer. So funny, little Hummer. <laughs> Actually, this is the little Hummer. This is the H. I think it's the H3, isn't it? Or is it the H2? I can't really tell because the vehicle I'm in is so massive. I think it's an H2. I want to see, I wanted to see an H1 in this game. That would have been, uh, actually, you know what? We might just go this way. I know, I know I was kind of questioning it when I came through here with the Azov, but it kind of makes sense, especially for the scout, right? We can uh, just squeeze through the tree line here and be right at the farm drop off. Well, I hope. I think it's right around the corner. Yeah, I see. I see. Not quite where we had to drop stuff off or oil off in the ads off, but it is. It is just around this little outcropping of trees, so... Come on! Come on! You can do it! Alright, well, our vehicle is in the square, and now is the Hummer. 
Boom. That boy is so spoiled, no discipline. It's probably er, <laughs> It probably won't be long before he gets himself into trouble again. Thank you for your help. Ah, oh, 2600 bucks and 260 experience. So, there you go. That is, I believe, I could be wrong, but every task done in uh, in this area. I don't want to. I don't want to Google it and find out if I've done them all. Um. Well, oh, there's a lot. You know, there's a lot to these maps that are not ever explored. Like, how cool would it have been if they had little Easter eggs or something? Let me know if there are Easter eggs in this game, because that would be kind of cool to, to look at. Uh, there is something here, so I'm guessing this kind of looks like a wind turbine. Uh, there might be a task up there, because I don't think we've gone up that way. I think that was just the watchtower. Uh, but yeah, for now, you know what? We're going to call it good there. And we are going to... Uh, you know what? We're going to take this nine minutes. And we are going to look for a new vehicle before we go to the... Uh, before we go across because we are we are here the quarry's here i probably should just bring i probably will just bring this vehicle to the quarry um but i do want to kind of poke around in the garage and see what new vehicles i could purchase um i've been too many i've been watching too many youtube videos and trying to find not really looking for them, but uh, I've come across a couple of uh, trucks that would be like what are considered the best in the game. And I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to try them. I've been dying to get like a great truck. I don't think that was one of them. Yeah, definitely not one of them there. That one looked like it, this one looks like it would be a pretty cool truck, but I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. Um, I know this one is pretty cool for a scout. This one's almost unstoppable. Uh, and this one we have to explore the world. So they're all pretty much explore the world. And these ones... Really, where am I supposed to get this vehicle from? Is that something I could have bought for logging? Uh, explore the re truck is not available in Eurasia. So yeah, maybe that is an American truck that I never, never really came across trying to find. Cause these are all vehicles you cannot get. Anyways. All right, so the vehicle I was looking at is definitely one that you have to explore to find. So one day we'll we'll find it. So I'm going to call this a episode. Oops. Oh, man, I just hit the PS button, screwed everything up. Uh, but I'm going to call this an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. It would help out the channel a lot. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.